Everybody. I'm here today to do another guitar lesson for you. Today we're going to be looking at uh, Ramblin' Fever by Merle Haggard. Love this tune. This is a great tune. I looked all over YouTube. Uh, I saw one guy, I think, did a, a lesson over this intro. Uh, the video quality and audio quality wasn't great. Uh, I mean, he, he played it well, but I wanted to go ahead and uh, throw this up for you. I didn't really see any other tutorials or anything. Um, and I really don't see any way to get tabs for this intro, so I wanted to make this available for you, okay? So let's jump into the lesson. We're in the key of G here. Hey, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me down below before we get started, okay? And then at the end of this video, if you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button for me, and then there's a bell icon down below. You can click that to stay notified of when I post new content. Also, if you click the link down in the description box below, that'll take you over to my Patreon page. Over there, you'll find tabs to this lesson, You'll find a Nashville number chart for this song and lots of other good stuff, all right? All right, I'm going to break it down and play it slow for you. There you go, and I threw that last lick in for you for free there, so I'll show you that as well. <laughs> All right, let's break this down. Um, and once again, there will be tabs uh, down below if you click the link to go over to my Patreon page. Also, you'll see a backing track there, the backing track that I made and, and used for this song. So go check that out for me. All right, cool. So here we go. So we're, we're basically doing uh, the G major pentatonic scale is what we're playing out of here. The song's in the key of G, so. So we have G, C. And I'm doing a C add nine there. And back to G. And then to D. So that's really our three chords, G, C add nine, and D, right? Cool, so our riff is gonna take place here. Like I said, G major pentatonic, so. So all right there. If you're not familiar with that scale, um, all I'm doing there is starting on the third fret, and I'll play that scale slow for you. So that's our G major pentatonic scale that I'm thinking uh, out of here, okay? So um, what we're doing here to start this riff, we are playing fifth fret D string, okay? So, and with my right hand, I'm plucking that with my middle finger here, my nail. If you don't have a nail, it's not a big deal. You can use the meat of your finger. The meat of your finger actually sounds really good for that too, so, right? And that's what Brent Mason does a lot too. He'll use a thumb pick, and he's got nails here, but he'll use the meat of his first finger to get a lot of those popping sounds, right? So I'm just using my nail here, and I'm going. So that's five on D, seven on A, five on A. So, and then walk that back up. And then back down, and then we're going to slide on the D string from seven to nine. So that's our that's our pickup into the one, right? So when we get to that note, right, that is our one. Um, and just to kind of give you a little bit of theory here, you might be thinking, well, if that's the one, why are we not playing G? Because we're in the key of G, right? Well, that's the three of the G chord. So it takes uh, it takes three chords. Uh, the one, the three, and the five. It takes three chords to make a major chord, or three notes, sorry. Three notes to make a major chord, right? So um, that's our three, which is, which is a B, right? 
So um, that's that's kind of what we're using here, and that's something that um, I'm going to dive into in a little more in detail over the next few months. Is um, you know when you're playing over certain chords, what notes and what target notes can you hit? Okay, so a target note here is going to be the three. So okay, then we just come back down and we're going to slide down from nine down to seven on D and then play five. So. And I'm doing a pull off there. And then playing seven on A, and then five on A. So. And then. That little riff right there, uh, it starts on the D, seventh fret. Five, twice. And then seven on A, and then back to five on D. So, so far, slow, we've got. Right? Then we do this. It's another pickup into that next phrase. And all I'm doing is I'm sliding from five to seven on A, playing five on D, seven on D, back to five on D, and then sliding seven to nine on D. Right? Then we come to our G string here. So, um, all right, and this is gonna be uh, seven to nine on G. And I'm picking that. Um, so I'm picking it seven to nine and then doing a pull off back to seven on G. Then down to nine on D. Down to uh, seven on D. Right, um, I'm doing a slide actually. Down to seven and playing five on D and then seven on D to finish that phrase, right? And that's the five of the D chord. So when we finish that phrase, we end on our five chord, which is D. So I'm targeting that D note now. And I'm playing the A note, which is the five of your D chord, right? So, so far, slow, we've got. do this pickup note or pickup riff here so all I'm doing there as you can see this is all right here in the same position right same few notes here that we're using and that's what I like about this it's a really simple it's really simple to play this and it's all using the same just two to three notes here three to four notes in the same shape but uh, he creates a melody with this so this is really really good okay using simplicity to create melodies right so so we do a pickup, and then we go. I like this riff right here, so he's doing a repetitious riff here. So, so we're doing sliding down from seven to nine on D, and we're doing a hammer, or actually not a hammer on. We're doing a. I'm picking every one of these notes. You can hammer them on. But it just really doesn't have the percussiveness of right. That sounds a little better to me, and it sounds a little more like the record. So what I'm doing, I'm doing seven to nine on G and pulling off back to seven and coming down to nine on D and repeating that three times. Then sliding down. So we've got doing that riff again. And we're targeting the C chord there, right? Which that's our five of our C chord, which is a G, right? So then we do the same little pickup riff again. And then 
So we do that same kind of vibe there, that same kind of lick, but we only do it once. And we slide back down. And then we play uh, seven on D. And we go. And that bend's actually one you can you can bend it a little bit flat. And it's okay to do that one just a little bit flat, right? It's, it's okay to do that. A lot of steel bends and a lot of country guitar bends, you want them to be dead on. But this one, you don't have to be. You can kind of kind of slide or kind of bend into it, right? And what I'm doing there, I'm doing a hammer on from five to seven on A, seven on D, playing seven, uh, sorry, five on D and then seven on D. And I'm bending that down about a whole step. And then releasing it. Coming back to our root note, which is G, which is uh, five on D, right? And this last little riff I threw in here, let me play it slow. Or, whichever way you want to do it. But all I'm doing there, I'm playing sort of out of our mixolydian, G mixolydian. Or you can think of it as G, um, G minor pentatonic there. So I'm throwing some minor in with it. So, right. Um, and I would say, yeah, I mean, this is, uh, this is really more mixolydian than anything because I'm adding this note in, which is in our G major, right? And then going to the flat seven, which is what makes that mixolydian, right? So, so I'm sliding from two to three on D and then pulling off from two to open on D. Playing three on A, playing one on A and bending it a little bit, resolving on the G. Or however you want to do it. Instead of bending, you can always slide one to two on the A string. Right? Cool. So I uh, hope this lesson has been helpful for everyone. Like I said, I really didn't find a lot of information out there about this lesson. So uh, I wanted to make it available uh, for all my viewers out there. I'm going to get back to doing some of this old country stuff. I love this stuff. Um, it's just, it's great picking. I love it. So um, go ahead if you haven't already done so. If you like this video, hit the like button for me down below. Please uh, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when I post new content. I'm kind of in a routine now where about every two weeks, I'm going to try to get a video posted by Friday one every two weeks, but I've got some other cool stuff going on over on my Patreon page. So go ahead and hit that link down there. You'll find tabs to my lessons. You'll find some bonus quick licks that I'm doing there. Um, and then you'll also uh, start seeing backing tracks to these lessons that I'm doing for you. Okay. Hope you guys have a, uh, a safe and a happy holiday season and I'll see you guys next time.